Andrew, this is uh, remarkably impressive. You did this all by yourself? Yes. I downloaded every known medical textbook into my memory. I studied them. That's how I came up with these drawings. I know they're very primitive and not entirely complete, but that's why I need you to fill in the mechanical gaps, Rupert. This is another upgrade. It's considerably more than an upgrade. I mean, you're, you're talking about a profound transition from the mechanical to the biological. I realize that, and I believe it is the ideal marriage of both fields. Not only that, but this stuff could cut both ways. I don't think that any existing prosthetic devices or artificial organs hold a candle to what you've designed here. I mean, you could use these in human beings as well. Exactly. Wow. Here is the equivalent of a human central nervous system? That was my intention, yes. Okay. Well, you got to realize that a nervous system is going to radically enhance the way that you feel and perceive the world around you. I'm not just talking about hot and cold and little tiny pinpricks. And put it this way. As your experience becomes varied, so will the, the feelings, emotions, sensations stimulated by that experience. And while some of these will be very subtle and wonderful and nuanced and, and shaded, others will be profoundly intense and, and, and difficult to tolerate. Do you feel like you're ready for that? Absolutely. 